Lord Jesus, teach us to be the servants you have called us to be. Help us walk in humility and to stand firm in our faith, no matter how difficult the road ahead. Let us faithfully serve you by caring and serving others. Amen. Thank you for drawing me so close to your heart, Lord, Mother Claire began. You can do that any time, by the way. But you make it so special and holy. Thank you. Jesus replied, My heart is smitten when you respond to me so faithfully. I know you long for me, and when you forget about everything else and rush to embrace me as I long to be embraced, it is wonderful. Gee, Lord, I certainly felt wonderful and never wanted to come out of that place. My precious one, these are the delights of contemplative prayer. I wish for you to rest in this very deep place more and more that I may infuse you with the delights of heaven. Lord, how do I approach our newcomers with this kind of prayer? Befriend all first, and all else will follow, but it is in the common bonds of friendship that walls come down. Do I have time for this? Make time. Go slowly. They need this from you, Claire just as I need it from you. Anything you do for another, you have done for me. It is truly a work of mercy. Is there anything else you would like to talk about? The Lord continued, Brotherly love begins at home. You know how it feels to be pushed away, not to be important enough, to desire friendship but be denied. Since you know how it feels, you should do your very best not to give that impression that others are not important enough to stop what you are doing to make time for them. You should always avoid giving that impression. Yes, Lord, thank you. I am a big failure in that area. Begin to make that your strong point, the sacrament of the moment. People should always take priority in your life especially those who are just starting out on this path and may not fully understand it. Okay. I know you get it, beloved. I know you do. I love you, Lord, so much. I want to make you happy, happy, happy. The feeling is entirely mutual. What would you like to discuss, Lord? Faithfulness. I wish for everyone to focus on being faithful with what they have been entrusted with. That also goes for feeding the poor. It is not pleasing to me that you make the poor wait for alms. They are already last in everything. But as you know, when you live on the edge of poverty, going without can be very discouraging. I would rather you take care of them first and yourselves last. Please tell this to the appropriate persons. When you make my poor wait, I make you wait. It is just that simple. Those who live on handouts from others are always on the edge of desperation with what they need, be it food or medicine or utilities. Please don't make them wait while you get what you need or want. In this way you will always find out that my arm is not short. Living on providence is such a freeing perspective. And if you are going to teach it to others, you must go about it the right way and not deprive those who depend on you. In time you will discover the great wisdom in this. Besides, it is a sterling example to others. Yes, Lord. He said with a smile, Now come here and rest your head where it belongs forever and ever. And that was the end of his message. Heart dwellers, here is some insight as to how God sees us from our dear brother Jim. It doesn't matter if a pearl is in the mud or polished to perfection. 
it is still a pearl and is highly valued. The pearl represents souls, and whether you are in the mud or you look like you just stepped off the cover of Vogue, you are still a pearl in the eyes of the Lord and are of great worth. We should view each other in the same way, to see everyone's true value with our spiritual eyes as pearls of great price to the kingdom of God. Amen.